In the 2010s, Renault decided to expand the range of crossovers with a new extraordinary model. The concept of an affordable car in a fashionable cross coupe format on a proven platform seemed extremely promising, and the car really got its audience. Now, however, it is officially available only in the secondary market, but this does not prevent those who wish to find an almost new car. But before that, you can try to find out why the owners love Arcana and why they scold. This is what we will do today. Work on the new model began in the Russian design center Renault back in 2012. The designers were given the task of creating a mass-produced C-segment car with a beautiful and unusual design, all-wheel drive, high seating position, solid ground clearance, and the maximum level of localization in Russia, so Arkana is pure Russian product. As a result, a body type coupe crossover was chosen. Further, the project has successfully passed a number of examinations, including industrial. As a result, at the Moscow Motor Show in 2018, the car was presented in the status of a concept, and in 2019 mass production began at the Oftoframos plant. The deeply modified Global Access B0, platform became the basis for the development of the car. At one time, we talked in great detail about what kind of platform it was and how a deeply adapted car with French roots was created on its basis. Two engines were provided for the Arcana. The first is the proven atmospheric 4H4M, 1.6 liters, 114 horsepower, which could be paired with a 5-speed manual or JATCO JF016 ECVT, aka RE0F10D slash RE0F10F, with a lockable torque converter and eight virtual ranges. With a second 150 horsepower turbo engine TCE 150 H5HT, with a volume of 1.3 liters, only a variator could be aggregated. Drive for our canal was offered full or front. Front suspension to McPherson struts, rear independent, in the case of all wheel drive, or semi independent, in the case of the front. Front brakes are a disc, rear are a drum. It is worth noting that the model immediately became the subject of fierce debate, which has not subsided to this day, and the haters are not shy in expressions. If a man bought an Arcana, it means that he does not understand cars at all. If a man bought an Arcana for a woman, it means that there is money for repairs, and this should not really soar, because a man who understands cars will not voluntarily buy this bucket, because this is not a car in his adequate understanding, good car. The only pity is that with such an engine it does not last long. Yes, and tight. Yes, the materials are disgusting. Yes, and multimedia is stupid junk. And don't put anything in the trunk. Oh, what am I talking about? It's a good car. It is noteworthy that such reviews are written mainly by those who are familiar with the car only in absentia. On the other hand, the network has a lot of very positive feedback from real owners. At the same time, they recognize the presence of certain shortcomings, which, nevertheless, in their view, are not critical. Moreover, they believe that it is better to buy Archon in the secondary market. I consider the purchase of a slightly used car to be the most optimal, with a mileage of up to 50,000 such cars are practically new, and their sores have been eliminated by 60%. Indeed, in the secondary market, Arcana is represented in a fairly large number, and prices start at 1,145,000 for front-wheel drive cars with a 1.6-liter engine, released in 2019, and rise to 2.9 to 3.1 million rubles for all-wheel drive versions of the beginning of 2022 with a turbo engine and enriched trim levels. It turns out that due to the current situation on the market, Arcana costs either the same or more than it once cost in the salon. Well, it's worth it or not to buy such a car, everyone decides for himself. And reviews of real owners collected in one place can help you make the right decision. Hate number 5. Interior Design and Materials What often causes a general rejection of Renault Arcana owners and stops potential buyers? First of all, the architecture and interior design of the cabin. Perhaps I would have bought it, despite the CVT. But the salon is too cheap, the interior design is too angular, I would like it to be more streamlined, it's boring in the cabin, it's a problem with ergonomics, 
My wife even has nowhere to put the phone when we go long distances. The salon, of course, could be made more interesting, the owner's right. Of course, some people may like the architecture and general appearance, but not so much, because everyone knows the saying about taste and color. The owners and the ergonomics of the driver's seat are evaluated differently. Some people like everything. We drove to the Crimea in the summer super. You don't feel tired for long distances. The seats are comfortable. The layout of the controls is very successful. After the first use of the hands on the machine, certain functions of the car are turned on. The seats have sufficient height adjustment and also lumbar support. The steering wheel is multifunctional, has adjustments both in height and in reach. But others are indignant from the unpleasant the ergonomics of the driver's seat. Renault engineers have a peculiar idea of the target audience. These are people with short legs and long arms. The steering wheel reach is not enough. The support for the left leg is much closer than necessary if you sit down so that it is convenient to press the gas and brake. With my height of 180 centimeters, it's impossible to sit down normally. There are also complaints about minor flaws, which nevertheless spoil the overall impression. I wanted to press the start slash stop button with a familiar gesture, but where is it? In the foreseeable space on the front panel, I do not see. It turns out that the button is located behind the wheel, and you have to tilt your head to the right to see it. The niches in the doors are too small, and there is nowhere to put a bottle of water. A more significant drawback can be considered that when you fold the rear seats you do not get a flat surface. But the main claims of the owners, and simply critics of the model, relate to finishing materials, or rather, to the hard plastic of the front panel and door interior trim. True, in this case, estimates can differ very much. Those who like the model as a whole admit that the materials do not really match the appearance and overall image. Many are confused by the hard plastic of the front panel and door trim. Undoubtedly, this is the case, but people need an inexpensive car. The front panel is hard plastic, but not quite wooden. Renault makes solid cars. The only bad thing is that they cheapened the plastic in the cabin. The most ardent enthusiasts are ready for radical improvements. The salon is tin. I want to change it into natural leather. Well, and the haters come off on this topic in full, I looked at the arcana in the cabin, I liked it. Sat in the salon and realized that all Renault assembled for fuck off. The same poor hard plastic, all the elements on the doors, the climate everything moves, dangles. The front panel is something in general, the place where the passenger's pillow is squeezed by the little fingers so much that you think, how is it? Enthusiasts are trying to counterattack, saying that you need this hard plastic, do you sleep on it, or what? And in general, everything is known in comparison, RAV4, 2015. The same hard plastic and squeaks in the cabin, do not listen to those who hate the car. The plastic is hard, so what? Have you seen the plastic in the Honda Pilot? That's where the plastic is dubbed, and the cost is over 3 million tired of listening to all sorts of nonsense about cheap plastic who wants leatherette on the panel you need to take the car not for 1.3 but for 2.5 million but the haters are relentless and in any thread on any automotive forum that discusses this car you will definitely find swearing about plastic love number five appearance what cannot be taken away from Renault Arcana is a bright, extraordinary appearance, especially since before the appearance of the Havel F7X, there was not a single car in the relatively budget price segment in the coupe crossover form factor. It is no coincidence that many reviews with stories about the purchase history begin approximately the same way. They say, I saw, fell in love and bought, I came to the Renault salon just out of curiosity and did not expect that I would like the car. I was impressed, of course, by the appearance. When we saw him in the salon, we immediately fell in love with him, and after we had a ride, we definitely decided that we were taking this car. The choice fell on Arcana, I liked the look. Those who like the car as a whole will definitely mention the appearance. The car is simply beautiful from all sides. Arcana is an unusual car. First of all, it is beautiful. Arcana is beautiful beyond any doubt. It looks stylish, fashionable, modern. 
and the appearance turned out to be not only successful, but also original, especially the rear lighting. Oh, these luxurious and unforgettable Hercule Poirot mustaches, which cannot be confused with anything. And even critics who find a great many shortcomings in Renault Arcana are forced to admit, Arcana has only two pluses, it's a beautiful body, well, and cross-country ability. Again, in the stream, Arcana looks like much more expensive models of premium brands, and this warms the souls of young owners. I'm driving around the city recently, at a traffic light, a red crossover is equal in the next row. I see the front part, fender, hood, and bumper on the side through the side glass. I think, Arcana often began to come across, people began to take it. Let's go to the green, the car overtakes me, and this is the Mercedes GLC. By the way, the beautiful Arcana body has quite practical advantages. First, good aerodynamics. Even those who scold the acoustic comfort in the cabin of this car admit that aerodynamic noise is almost inaudible. Secondly, the doors of this model cover the thresholds, which is very useful for keeping your trousers clean, especially in bad weather. There are, of course, some disadvantages as well. For example, a number of reviewers write that a large slope of the rear window seriously impairs the view back through the interior mirror. The front mudguards are short, and dirt from under the front wheels flies on the doors, and the trunk lock key is not made in the most successful way. It is almost impossible to open it and not get your hands dirty in bad weather. There are also the inevitable complaints of modern cars about a weak paintwork, but compared to the general impression, all this is mere trifles. Hate number four, low roof, second row seat, and soundproofing. The Arcana's elegant silhouette has a number of not so pleasant implications. First, the low roof line. Many owners complain that the ceiling is crushing. With a height of 170 centimeters, you rest your head on the ceiling, especially in winter, and a hat when you get into a cold car. When you sit, the distance from the roof is a maximum of five to seven centimeters, and you get the feeling that now you will hit the roof with your head. Actually, the shape of the doorway is not the most convenient for landing. I'm 172 centimeters in me. When you enter the car, you already beat your head against the rack. You can hit not only on the side doors, it didn't work out with Arcana, with a height of 190 centimeters, I broke my head twice on the trunk lid lock. But the main problem is the lack of space on the second row, the steering wheel moves there in two planes. I have a height of 190, and I'm quite comfortable, however, only a 7 year old grandson can sit behind me, and an adult can't. This can even become a reason for selling the car, despite its overall positive assessment, we sell only because we wanted another car, sharpened for long trips, because the children have grown up, on a long journey they want to stretch their legs in the back row, fold the back, in early February 2022, I decided to change to a car with a more spacious interior. Reason, a second child was born. As for the trunk, it seems to be not so small, 409 liters for all-wheel drive versions and 508 for front-wheel drive. And the trunk itself is not bad at all, as the owners note, for once, Renault decided to cover the inner surfaces with soft material and equip it with a convenient organizer. But the configuration of the luggage volume is set by the same roof line, and as a result, it is impossible to put a set of four tires there, the lid does not close. It turns out sadness that occurs twice a year with a seasonal change of tires. In general, all this gives reason to critics of Arcana to write all sorts of offensive words, a very low roof slope at the back interferes with landing. To be honest, it's hard to understand who it was made for, if it's a coupe, then it's completely beggarly, people choose completely different coupes. As a crossover station wagon, it is very inconvenient for passengers, and bulky cargo is not suitable for it. And everyone, both fans of the model and haters, note not the best sound insulation. But if engine noise practically does not enter the cabin, then road noises are heard very well. The noise is not very good, the noise of the wheels is heard in the cabin, and somewhat louder than in capture, noise isolation is really bad, you need to disassemble the interior in the future in glue, not a very good noise from the wheels, it's very decent from the engine, I want to glue the car in the summer. Shumka at 3.5 out of 5, nothing in the summer, but the spikes make noise in the winter. 
However, even from the above quotations it is clear that the methods for solving this problem are quite clear. Love number four, suspension, handling, light. Everyone is well aware that all cars built on the B0 platform and its derivatives are distinguished by excellent suspension, the main advantage of which is omnivorousness and the ability to endure very bad roads without any problems. This property distinguished Logan, Duster, Captor. Arcanal was no exception in this series. The suspension is fire, on all the bumps where I am now floating, the rest of my car is rumbled, the suspension is excellent, elastic, there are no breakdowns in the pits. You can easily drive 60 km per hour along the country road, I rode the Archon from Vladimir to Astrakhan and back. I like the work of the suspension, the car does not notice the pit, the police passes gently, the suspension smooths out bumps well, this kind of observation can be found in almost every review. At the same time, Arcana is by no means Humpty Dumpty. She behaves decently in fast corners and is excellent on the trajectory. I was very pleased with the controllability of the car and the energy intensity of the suspension. I have never felt breakdowns yet. Confidently enters the turn even on slippery roads. Another advantage of the model is a very high quality headlight, especially in top trim levels, where the headlights are equipped with LED sources. The headlights and the light from them are generally fire. The headlights are simply gorgeous. The headlights are very pleased. But good LED lighting has a downside. On a dirty winter track, you have to keep it clean more often. Hate number three, electrical and electronic problems. Judging by some sources, the Arcana is just a concentration of glitches and sores. Either it stalls at intersections, or the fuel level does not show, or in general, all the electrics go into an accident. In so many reviews, the authors complain about buggy electronics and weak electrics. In this case, weak electrics means a situation where the main problems of a car are related to electrical systems, failures of various electrical equipment, for example, power windows or wipers, malfunctions of the radio, errors on the onboard computer screen that appear and disappear without any human intervention. There are also enough descriptions of specific problems of individual cars, glitches, first the injection system restarting the engine, everything seems to be fine, and then resetting all the settings of the multimedia system. When you press the gas hard, the sound of the radio constantly disappears. The cameras sometimes turn on and don't turn off when you start driving, you have to turn it off yourself, it distracts from the road, sometimes, the gasoline level sensor was buggy, if you wait for the light to turn on, then it may not go out when refueling, it will only go out with time, or if you refuel at least a couple of liters again, comma I didn't work out with the electrics from the purchase, I had to go to the service a day later if most of the electrical equipment did not work. Ventilation, electronic scoreboard, electronic adjustments, comma the climate suddenly turned off control when it was plus 38 overboard. I twisted the switches, it turned on again. It happened three times during the trip. I bought this craft on December 20th, 2021. On February 1st, 2022, the mileage was 800 kilometers, the multimedia system, touchscreen, stopped turning on, respectively, the rear view camera does not work. They also scold the general interface for interacting with various systems controlled by electronics. The mirrors do not fold themselves. You need to press the button, and Megan, I closed the car, they folded up, started it up decomposed, while whoever doesn't need it turned it off in the settings, minimum settings, and that's all unnecessary. At startup, you need to press a few buttons to turn on the radio. It's off by default, which is very inconvenient. But most of all criticism goes to the head unit. And it works with delays and the screen sticks that is the image stops and does not change until you press a button and it does not work correctly in the cold navigation with traffic jams only from a smartphone through integration systems but the connection is only through a single usb port so there is no way to charge your spouse's smartphone or listen to music from a flash drive in this case switching tracks in the playlist is inconveniently implemented Images from all-round cameras are not merged into a single image. In a word, hardware may be nothing, but the software is clearly unfinished. As a result, many change the head unit to a non-standard one. 
They also scold the acoustics, saying that it is only for listening to the news, and even the Bose acoustics, which were equipped with the top versions, does not sing as it should be for a premium system. All this is very disappointing, because the appearance of the car is quite youthful, and young people are very critical of the quality of the media systems. Love number three, winter operation and flotation. Patency is what the authors of almost all reviews praise. Even front wheel drive versions open up directions in front of the owners that are inaccessible to ordinary cars, as one of the authors wrote, 208 millimeters clearance is not for you anymore. And all wheel drive completely solves a lot of problems. The ground clearance is high. I pass where the Opal and the Korean were scraping the bottom. My road near the house is half a year of mud, only four-wheel drive and high ground clearance save. The suspension is wonderful, the ground clearance is awesome, it rushes like a tank. I drove into such wild places of the Crimea, I didn't even suspect that there were such. I used to get stuck on sedans everywhere and always, but on this one I never needed a shovel, the clearance is high, the chassis was tested on the duster, the engine is high torque, full drive go wherever you want, except for steep mud. But this is not a jeep indeed it is worth being aware that the arcana is a crossover and its all-wheel drive system has a number of limitations for example if you hack for a long time in low gears and high speeds the clutch will certainly overheat and the car will temporarily lose its ability to move i climbed a dirty hill ate the adrenaline didn't expect such a rush but after five minutes of pedal to the floor, Archon got on a smoke break, overheating clutch. True, it was already after a hundred meters of the slide. But off-road obstacles may not meet on the life path of the Renault Archon owner, but winter in Russia comes with depressing regularity, and here the car shows its best side. Firstly, due to the high ground clearance, even front-wheel drive versions successfully cope with the problem of unclean parking lots, clearance pleases, last winter there was snow in the yard, all the Pusiters were sitting, and I boldly drove by. And with all-wheel drive, you can feel at ease at all, traveling in the winter was not a big deal, the car rode through the snow to the Dacia very well, large ground clearance, short overhangs, the turbine gives the engine torque almost from idle, all-wheel drive is more abruptly symmetrical from Subaru on the snow with the ESP turned off, the bagels can be twisted, starting straight away. And in general, as the author of one of the reviews wrote, in winter in Russia, four-wheel drive is never superfluous. Very well, according to the owners, Arkana behaves on a slippery winter road, although there are certain nuances that we once studied in sufficient detail. But the adaptability of the model to winter conditions is not limited to cross-country ability alone. Firstly, Arkana is equipped to provide the driver and passengers with maximum comfort in the cold season. The owners are literally enthusiastic, seven heatings, steering wheel, windshield, rear sofa, washer nozzles are hard to find in another car for 1,499,990. Separately, such options as heated windshield are noted, I would especially like to note the windshield with electric heating. Ice crust of any thickness melts in a couple of minutes, heated steering wheel and windshield is a great thing. In general, according to the authors of the reviews, all heating in the Archon works very quickly, all winter options heat up quickly, there is something to compare with the wife of Skoda Rapid. But most often the reviews mention an electric heating element, which begins to supply warm air to the passenger compartment immediately after starting, even with a cold engine. And since the Arcana also has a quite well-functioning remote start system, everything turns out to be generally excellent. Heating everything is a very useful thing, and coupled with managing all this when auto run from the application, in general, it started from a regular auto run in any frost, the rear seat is heated, and the heating is turned on by fixed switches, which is very convenient. We remotely start the car from the key card and get warm seats for children in the cold. Hate number two, drum brakes and naturally aspirated dynamics. As you know, the rear brakes of the Renault Arcana are drum type, and many haters of the model build all their criticism on a simple thesis, rear drum brakes are an anachronism. And sometimes it works, because reviews in the style of why I will never buy a Renault Arcana almost necessarily mention this circumstance, what scared me off in a car for 1500-000 drum brakes in the back, ineffective brakes, because the rear ones are archaic drum brakes. 
In fact, this problem is somewhat far-fetched. Real owners write, as for hellish drums, I bet. I drive a working Octavia A8. Sometimes I drive my wife's Arcana to a car wash and gas station. So after Octavia on the Archon, the brakes are just fierce. Plus, in many positive reviews, the author notes that drum brakes have less efficiency, but a much longer resource. Drum brakes are by no means a minus. Their resource is many times higher than disc ones. On the previous car, 167,000 native pads departed. Drum brakes are not a minus in any way. Their resource is higher than disc brakes. For example, I drove 170,000 kilometers on a Chevrolet and never opened the drums. Even the handbrake cable, I didn't pull it up and sold the car with native pads. How many times do you think I would change the pads on disc brakes with such a mileage? At the same time, it is important to take into account that during braking, the load on the bridges is distributed unevenly, and many Arcana defenders are aware of this. I don't understand swearing at the drums at all Arcana slows down well. In general, in any car, the greatest load during braking falls on the front brakes, so discs are important there, and there are enough drums at the rear. I had a duster, almost 150,000 miles, and almost 100,000 on the same pads. The second negative topic is formulated as follows, Arcana is a complete vegetable and does not go at all. Actually, those who do not have this car are peddling this topic most actively on the internet, and they build their criticism on speculative constructions. The power units of the car do not correspond to the aggressive design, a kind of sheep in a wolf's clothing. Even the most frisky variant travels up to 100 parts in more than 10 seconds, and from 1.6 on the machine, more than 15 seconds. Why was it necessary to remove the aspirated 2.0 from the line then? Well, what dynamics are we talking about here? Or moved off and already normal? In fact, real owners also admit that the 1.6 liter H4M even with a manual transmission, does not provide much dynamics. It's better not to take the 1.6 engine, the sensations are not the same. Yes, the motor is sluggish. But here everyone makes his own choice, and when buying such a shed with such an engine, you need to understand that he does not drive on the track of the minuses, it accelerates for a long time. The dynamics of this motor in combination with the CVT is not at all impressive, although it may suit someone a dead old 1.6 engine does not go. And it's not about maximum speed, but about safe overtaking the car exclusively for pensioners to ride a bus or Kamaz. Don't try to overtake, you will be killed. Dynamics at 1.6 with a CVT is not very good. The car has a calm ride, slow accelerations, smooth braking. In short, 1.6 is not for racing. At the same time, as a rule, there are no complaints about the 1.3 liter TCE 150H5HT turbo engine, Arcanal 1.3 is fully equipped. I can say one thing, the car is driving and cheerfully. In general, rationally thinking reviewers emphasize that often the assessments of the dynamics of other participants in online discussions are too subjective, and all reviews does not work, vegetable. And what is going in your understanding? So far, I have only met one such car, I had a chance to ride, an Audi RS6 with 605 mare and a torque of 700 newtons, so after it, everything else does not go for me. Arcana is a normal car, it costs its money, but it is not intended to drive. Love number two, fuel consumption. In the vast majority of reviews, the authors are very positive about the fuel efficiency of Renault Arcana. First of all, this applies to versions with a TCE 150 and a CVT. I drive a lot around the city and the highway, low consumption is important, and the CVT with 1.3 is really pleasing. No more than 7.5 liters per hundred with an aggressive driving style, consumption, highway 6.5L, city 8L, I consider it an excellent result. Consumption is now in the combined cycle at an average speed of 21 kilometers slash H in the region of 8.8L. When I went south, at a speed of no more than 130 kilometers slash H, the consumption was around 7 liters. A family trip to Sweden to a ski resort through Finland in one direction is about 1.2 thousand kilometers. The average consumption there is 7.7 .7 liters, back 7 liters. 
I think that it would be even less if it were not for four pairs of skis mounted on the top of the trunk. But here the owners warned that in order to maintain such efficiency, you need to control yourself and not give free rein to your foot on the gas pedal. After 1.30, the appetite wakes up. I got more than 9 liters on the highway when I drove from St. Petersburg on a scarf to Moscow at 150 kilometers slash H on GPS and 160 on the speedometer. At 80 kilometers slash H, the average consumption is 5.5. But the owners of the 1.6 liter options are unhappy with significantly worse dynamics the consumption is either greater or the same consumption in the winter in the city is 10 liters on the highway around 8 liters slash 100 kilometers i can say about the consumption in winter at auto start with warm-ups it was 11.5 to 11.8 maximum and now 8.3 in the city 7.5 on the highway the owners attribute this to the short gear ratios of the manual gearbox, average consumption 12.2 L slash 100 kilometers, 90% city short gears, 3000 RPM and 6th 110 kilometers slash H. However, different people can evaluate the same figures in different ways. 1.6 in combination with mechanics is quite smart and most importantly, economical. The average in the city with traffic jams is 9.4 L slash 100 kilometers. Hate number one, inconsistent build quality and saving on small things. Renault Arcanal was originally positioned as a specific car, a budget analog of premium coupe crossovers. It is clear that when designing the machine, the creators were forced to turn on the economy mode, which for the most part is quite justified and forgivable. But the owners considered many moments to be saving on matches, because at the time of entering the market, Arcana cost from 1.1 to 1.5 million rubles, there are no hooks in the trunk they saved on matches, alas. The seat belts of the front seats are not adjustable in height, although they are regulated in Logan, the doors can only be locked from the inside with a button on the central panel, since there are no buttons on the doors from the word completely saving, the niches in the doors are small, and nowhere to put a bottle of water. Not enough eyeglasses. The trunk release button is inconveniently located, it's difficult to find it, and you get your fingers dirty if it's slush on the street. One socket for a 12-volt outlet is not enough. And a lot of complaints about assembly flaws. Moreover, we are not talking about congenital diseases that are characteristic of the model as a whole, but about purely individual cases, which, alas, are quite numerous, either the glass falls out, or it blows from all cracks, or water flows. The front passenger door slightly jumped on front right fender. I came to the officials, they adjusted it, but from the inside, when you open it, you have to make an effort. When closing, the right front glass ran into the ceiling gum from the outside. The left wiper did not reach the pillar by about 8 to 9 centimeters, respectively. The dirt limited visibility. The problem is treated quite easily. Just loosen the nut of the leash and rearrange the leash of the cleaner a few pedals to the left. The gearshift lever twitches all the way. Like in the old Icarus, the windshield washers do not work well. During the year, I had to adjust the operation of the wipers and the glass washer in the service, under warranty. I left the passenger compartment and noticed that the washer fluid was barely splashing, although the tank was full. I lifted the hood and saw that it was a hose bending. I simply straightened it and pulled it slightly closer to the nozzles. Everything worked. On bumps, the front seats can rumble simply because of a loose sled. Quite a lot of complaints about the poor quality installation of various seals. For example, in the area of the pedals there is a hole where the bundle of wires goes. If it is not closed very well, then the cold wind and moisture from under the left locker fall directly under the driver's feet and water begins to accumulate under the rug. In a word, as one of the owners wrote, Arcana is very comfortable, but still, something reminds me all the time that this is Renault. Somewhere there is a gap, somewhere something creaks. There are, of course, those who cannot stand this shame of petty insults and react much more harshly. Three months later I realized what kind of junk I bought. I sold it six months later and was very happy. In fairness, it should be noted that there are also enough owners who, from the moment of purchase, have not experienced any problems at all and have visited service centers exclusively for scheduled maintenance. Love number one, value for money. 
but many owners are quite satisfied with the ratio of price and what they get for their hard-earned money. The good dynamics of the 1.3 turbo engine, good all-wheel drive, aggressive youthful appearance suits. There are no competitors for this price. But even more joy for the owners is the optional filling of the car in relation to its price. I will write what I got for 1,200,000, four-wheel drive, LED optics, factory auto start, climate control, cruise control, heated windshield, heated steering wheel, not to mention heated seats and such pleasant little things as a tire pressure sensor, a stability control system, and hill start assist. I bought my car for 1,210,000. LED optics, but how nice it is to approach the car, and it opens and closes itself, maybe, of course, I'm a caveman, and now this function is on all cars, and also turns on the welcome backlight class the feature set is impressive this is the heating of everything in the world including the windshield and hands-free and navigation the touch screen is excellent quite a decent trunk excellent led optics front and rear cruise control limiter keyless entry with regular auto start fog lights steering wheel adjustment for reach and height heated electric mirrors heated front seats onboard computer with an electronic duplicate speedometer display alloy wheels agree not bad for 1,150,000 I think that there are few cheaper cars in this class and with this stuffing in principle such statements can be quoted for a very long time and you can understand the owners who write you can talk for a long time about oak plastic young leatherette skin on the seats and a lot more about what someone doesn't like if the car was assembled in Europe with natural leather, soft plastic, and other attention to detail, then it would cost at least 2.2 to 2.5 million, and many people would just, just look at it as an inaccessible dream.